Hey, good morning, Gage. This is a demo video for you for your Keyblade Saber by Jawa's Junkyard. Um, installed with a CFX, I will admit, I did not know where this came from. I had to Google it. So, <laughs> um, it's a huge Saber, right? Uh, it's it, it's originally intended to be a two button setup. So if you'll look here, if my camera will pick up, you've got a plunger right here, but you do not have a plunger back here. Um, it, the Saber kit did not come with that. I don't know if you want to reach out to, uh, just reach out to Leon over at Jawa's Junkyard. When you sent me the kit, you had this plastic bag in it. It had one of the plungers in it, and then it had the bottom piece for the second plunger, which is right here, but it didn't have the main second plunger. So I'm gonna leave this in the bag. Um, I did set up the chassis with two switches. So when you get that second plunger, which I'll, I'll show you what I did here in a second, you can set the CFX back up to a two button setup. But for now, I set the CFX up for a one button setup so you can have full functionality of the Sabre and still have fun with it while you're waiting on that to come in, all right? But that's what that looks like right there. All right, and these are very unique and they take a little bit of doing and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, but you have, you know, a shadow foil props PCB in here. Now to get to your chassis, first thing you wanna do really is come over here on this plunger, this top plunger right here, and you wanna back it up a little bit. All right, back it up a little bit. Uh, you do that because these are very fragile so uh, you don't want to put any side load pressure against them. I'm afraid they're going to break. They, they are just tiny. Um, come over here and unscrew your pummel. All right, we're going to take this off. I'm just don't try not to drop it. <laughs> Almost there. All right, we'll take this off. When you do that, you're going to see a spacer in here. You pull this spacer right out. All right. We'll put that off to the side. You've already backed up this plunger. So now you can put your finger in the emitter and you can pop out your chassis just a little bit. You'll see it come out the back and then pull it straight out. All right, and then we'll put this saber off to the side there. Now, this is probably one of the longer chassis that I have ever printed uh, coming in at about nine and a half inches long. It, it, it barely fit on my printer, but I was able to get it done. All right, so you got your CFX board right here, um, easy access to your SD card. You can pop it in and out with your finger, no problem. You sent me a particular Keyblade sound font for this, so I went ahead, put it on there. Um, you've got a removable battery setup right here. The spring side is over here. All right, so this is the negative side of your battery. That's where the negative side of your battery goes. I just had to cut that spring way down. Um, you're running a 28 millimeter Smokers Outpost Elite speaker as well. All right, and this says Jawa's Junkyard over here. Um, Solo Sabers over here for me. And then I found a little uh, SVG thing for a Keyblade type of theme. So I put it over here. All right, and then of course, these are your switches. So you can see your two switches. You have a little bit of black on your chassis because I'm rubbing some of the anodizing or whatever it is on the inside of the saber. I'm kind of rubbing that off every time I put this in here, uh, but it's not a big deal, all right? But you've got your power and auxiliary switches right here. So you do have a two button setup. You'll just have to go into the config file and set that up when you get that secondary plunger. Now for the battery, we're gonna go ahead and put the battery in. It is a tight fit. To me the <laughs> but it does fit in, all right? So when you get that in, there's really nothing to clock the chassis. You're going to really have to pay attention to where these switches are at. All right, so you're going to have to, even if you want to come over here on this main plunger, and if you want to take it all the way out, you can do that. All right, take it out so it's an empty hole right there. That way, when you're putting this in, you can see exactly where those switches are at. And I have to do this while I'm looking at it. But once I'm done doing it, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. When you line that up right and you push it all the way in and it and it will stop on its own all right you can take this 
take this spacer, put it in. Don't ever push on your speaker, push on the side of the chassis, but then put this spacer in. Come over here and put your pummel on. We're gonna screw our pummel all the way down. Lock that pummel down nice and tight. Now that chassis is not gonna go anywhere. But if you look into that hole right there, if I can get my camera to focus, you can see that tactile switch is perfectly aligned with that hole. So that's where that chassis should be. All right, and it does need to be lined up exactly right. All right, and then when you get that lined up, we can come back over here and we can put our plunger system in. So I've got that plunger in now. I can come over here and hit power. Your LEDs are fired up. This is a monster of a saber. Just tap it. To turn it off. Hold it down. Nothing to it. I'm going to, I don't have the blade that goes with the saber. I've got a small test blade. Uh, this is set up for a full length blade, so if you have the blade, it'll work just fine. Um, I'm going to put my little test blade in here and show you that it fires up. All right, so we're going to put it in and hit power. So you're firing up a blade very well, right? Got a good flash on flash. And we'll turn it back off. And that is that. All right, so again, when we want to break this guy down, we'll just loosen up the plunger, unscrew our pummel, and do it over the table so I don't drop it here. Take our pummel off, take our spacer out, push out our chassis from the back, pull it all the way out like that, all right? Now, when you want to take this battery out, it is a pretty tight fit, um, so you'll need a tool. I'm using the back of my pair of tweezers, which is fine. If you have a Lego removal tool, that is really, uh, that's something that's very helpful. Or you just come over here from the positive side by your speaker and just kind of pry it off and it'll pop right out. All right, but that's basically your Keyblade Saber. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'll get this out along with Jake's Graflex. I'm gonna send them both in the same box. I'll send these out Monday morning. Thanks.